Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. It's Low for Low Nose here to help teach and inspire you through audio, video, and tech. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out on any of their future videos or tutorials just like this one. All right, so why would we need to use a de-esser? Well, a lot of times when we're talking to the microphone, uh, when using the T or the S sound, there can be these sharp pockets of air that come out of our mouth and hit the microphone. And then you get like this sharp sound that can just be really fatiguing to the ears. Like, after a while, it just kind of hurts and it becomes really annoying. Well, I'm going to show you how to get rid of those using a plugin for Vegas Pro. Now, unfortunately, Vegas Pro doesn't come with its own de-essing plugin. So the one I have for you, best of all, it's free and I'm going to show you how to use it. All right. So let's go to digitalfishphones.com. They have a suite called the Fish Fillets. Blockfish, Spitfish, Floorfish. I see what you guys did there. You, you, you got a little theme going on. Very good, very good. Let's go to the bottom and look for the Fish fil fish Filet download for either PC, Mac, whatever, download it to whatever, whichever one you have. And once we download to our desktop, okay, let's create a folder for it. For this example, I'm just going to create a blank folder. Uh, yeah, I'll call it Fish, no, or that's not how you spell Fish. And I'm going to drag everything from there and put it into my folder. Where'd you go, folder? There you go. All right, so everything is inside my folder. All right, so when, once that's it, let's bring up Vegas Pro and let's install these plugins. Uh, now, these are normally, these are just like DLL files. So there's nothing to instruct. No, there's nothing to instruct. There's nothing to install. So let's go to Options, Preferences. Go to VST effects and me, we, uh, I use alternate VST search folder. All right, go to wherever you have your DLL files the, that you just got from the download and put into the folder. Go to that folder. So I'll go to desktop um, and where with my, here we go. I have fish and I'll press okay. And it's gonna scan that entire folder. And if we go all the way to the bottom, if we search and I look at the S and you see that we have my plugin for, there we go, Spitfish. All right, so it's right there. So I'll apply and okay. And here we go. All right, so now I have a piece of audio here that I used this for an audition. Um, and the audition was re was rejected because they said, hey, this has the S, the de-essing or the S-ing on this audio file is just super harsh. Uh, so we have to reject it. We can't use your audio. It's like, oh, that sucks. You, don't, you guys don't know what you're talking about. So let's take a listen. Dogs have been our loyal companions since ancient times. And not only have they been great friends since then, They've also helped us perform different tasks, like protect our flocks from wild animals and many more. But what do you think the first activity that humans and dogs did together was? Boom, I got headphones. All right, so I guess maybe there's some S problems going on here, but you know, let's, let's address it. All right, uh, I'm gonna create some markers here within my audio to know, so we have a, like a good representation of where uh, the strong S's are. So I'm gonna play it again and I'll leave a mark where I think that the strongest S sound or the S problem is. Ancient times. And not only have they been great friends since then. All right, so I think it's the since then. And since then, and since. All right, I'll leave that there. And there's my marker. All right, now we're gonna open up the Spitfish de -essers. We're gonna go to our effects. Okay, you're gonna look in VST and we're going to look for Spitfish. We will add it and okay it. And then it brings this little box up right here. Now, if you want to, you could probably use one of these presets, but I'm going to show you how to actually use this program so you can fix your audio because not all these presets are gonna solve your problem. You gotta learn how to use the program. So the first thing we're going to do is press the listen button. All right, this is going to have our software look for the S's that we want to remove. So if I play this, you're not going to hear anything at all. Complete silence. What we then do is bring up the sensitivity of the S's that we're looking for. So keep in mind, the higher we go to max, the more of everything it's going to gather. So we want the sensitivity to be at a point where it only affects or finds or only hears the S's that are affecting our audio. Because if we go max, then it could probably pick up some other sounds as well. So we're going to start probably around like right here. All right. So with every with every S, it's, that meter is going to go off. Okay, so it looks like our biggest culprit was probably the since then right here. 
And you can even see in our in our volume levels here in our master fader how when it picks up our S, our volume just kind of spikes right there, right? Boom. All right. So that's also an indicator of our essing. Now, before we jump forward, I'm going to show you this right here. We have the 4K, 8K, and the 12K. This is a tune-in for it. A lot of times our S's will, will kind of live around a different frequency. You want to play around with this to see which one, where, where it is, where it's more worse, where it's more nasty. All right. So let's go all the way to 12K and see if it's nastier at 12K. All right, no, it seems kind of, let's go back to 8K. No, it, it, seem, it sounds worse at 8K. Yep, yep, definitely at 8K. Okay, like it's it's non-existing at 4K. When we get to 8K, 8K, it finds it. Yep, and then we get to 12K. It, it still hears it at 12K, but it's very, very minimal. Yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, lower. All right, so I'm going to leave it at AK, right? Now we apply our depth, and our depth is, consider it as like a compression or a volume knob on the S sound. So the higher we go here, the lower the volume it makes on that S sound, making it not as intrusive. All right, so I'm going to turn off my listening button, and then we're going to listen to this with these settings applied. And not only have they been great friends since then, they've also helped us perform... All right, let's listen to it with it bypassed. And not only have they been great friends since then, you can hear the difference. The, the S is a little lower. And you can really hear it. With it off, the S is a lot harsher. But with it on, the S is more tameable. They've been great friends since then. See how it's just kinda, it kind of ducks under? And then with it off. Have they been great friends since then? It's a little higher. It's a little higher. Okay, so that's how you use a de within Vegas Pro. Luckily, this plugin is free. If you feel like you have some kind of whistling going on within your voice or maybe like your mic technique is just not good and you need some help when it comes to this area, feel free to use a de -esser. You don't have to abuse it. It's just very slightly just to make your audio not as annoying or intrusive. Not to say that your audio is annoying, but you know what I'm saying. If you feel like you've got that little problem, use ADSer to help you out so we can focus in on those S sounds. All right, guys, if you really want to take advantage of what I've shown you here, go ahead, use it on your own, take what I've taught you on your own projects and really like try it out, see how things work so you can get better, so you can identify how to use these things within the future. That's the only way you're going to learn by doing it yourself. Okay, guys, that's it. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about DSing or anything else within Vegas Pro. And as always, you can hit me up on social media, Low Nose Sort Of, and join the Low Nose community on Discord. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next tutorial video or my other videos. Take care.